Okay, the next recipe I'm going to do is a beef and potato curry from Burma. This is the cookbook I'm going to use, and let's check out the recipe. Okay, this is the recipe. Two pounds of beef, potatoes, spices, and water. So what I'm going to do is get five cups of water, add all the spices to it, chop the meat up, chop the potatoes, an onion, and just, I think it's going to be pretty straight up easy, easy, uh, easy recipe to can. Pretty sure I have everything to make this curry. So we have some salt, paprika. I'm going to skip on the cayenne. My wife's not crazy about hot food, spicy. Uh, we have a little bit of cilantro in a white container. Then we have uh, cumin seed, coriander, turmeric, cardamom, about two pounds of beef garlic, ginger, chopped onion, potato. All right, let me chop this stuff up and throw it in some jars. Let's shoot for five pints. We have um, potatoes chopped up, one clove of garlic, one sliver of ginger, and a bunch of meat broken down into five different portions. Cilantro, I'll just throw into each jar. Same with the um, cardamom, onion, these are all the spices. It said a quarter cup of cumin seed. I did about three quarters of a quarter cup. It just seemed like a lot. So I'm going to add five cups of water to this. And then, uh, then we can just start seeing where we are. We'll build these jars and um, I don't know. Hopefully it'll all work out. So I might look at these jars set up. Got all these jars packed. So we just throw everything in there. Potatoes, onions, beef, ginger, garlic, cardamom pod, and cilantro. <coughs> so we have uh, six jars and a little left over. I think I'm gonna try to squeeze those in there once we put this. So this is all the spices and the water. I'm gonna mix it up real good and then fill these things up and um, We'll be ready to throw them in there. All right, time to fill these things up. I have a feeling this is gonna get a little sloppy, but let's give this a nice stir. Get all those spices mixed together. All right, let's see how hot this. All right. All right, so after all that, I had to build one more pint. <clears throat> I have one little piece of potato left over. I cannot squeeze in any jar. And we have a little bit of broth left over. I actually have one too many jars to can, so I might just slow cook one of these for dinner tonight. So let me clean up these tops, throw them in a pressure canner. All right, so pint number 11 that doesn't fit is gonna be dinner tonight. Yeah. Oops, all right. I have a little more water of that. I kind of like the idea that if you make too much, uh, you can always just cook, cook on a stove and eat it for dinner, you know? And these go into the pantry. All right, we're at 10 PSI. Let's start the timer. What's the pint? 70 minutes? Sure. See how this beef curry is doing? Big. Nice. I I needed five more minutes. It's 75, not 70. Whoa. Alright. All right, gonna let these cool and I'll get back to these guys later. Okay, the Burmese beef curry with potatoes, done. Looks all right. I'm gonna have that for dinner and I'll see how it is. 
Uh, I'm going to get these rings off and cleaned up and throw them in the cupboard. All right, not a bad um, recipe. Uh, pretty easy when you separate the meat and potatoes and the spices and the water. It kind of streamlines things, make, make, makes it quicker and easier. Um, the dish was real heavy with, with cumin and the other spices were kind of subtle. I, I actually would do a little bit more cardamom in it next time. And um, yeah, it was good. It was fine. The cilantro was a nice touch. It's a little on the watery side, which is different. Uh, it reminds me of some of the curries that come out of Kashmir in northern India. A lot of their curries are just meat and spices, maybe a vegetable, maybe a potato or a turnip. I love Kashmiri food. I think it's really cool, and I will be pressure canning some of those in the future.